Hi, Brandon here with Hydroflex again. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to install an Aqua Rocket Repair Kit. Before we get started, you will need to know a few things. When ordering up your nozzle repair kit, you will have to order up the same size nozzle repair kit as the nozzle. You can find that on the end of the nozzle end cap. It will be laser engraved. This one's a 3.0, so we know that we'll have to order up a 3.0 repair kit. When you get your repair kit, make sure that the nozzle size does match because the internal parts are not interchangeable. You will need a few tools for this. You will need an adjustable wrench capable of opening up to at least an inch and a half. You will need a small needle nose pliers, small Phillips screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, and a channel locks. Now I'm going to take you through what will be coming inside your repair kit. You will be given an instruction sheet telling you how to install this repair kit, as well as a new rubber boot, a new o-ring, a new top insert, a new seat retainer, a new dome screen, and a new rotor assembly. Now we're ready to take apart our nozzle. We can do this by grabbing onto our channel locks here and just grab onto the nozzle, then grabbing our adjustable wrench and just unthreading the end cap off. Once we get the end cap off, we can take the nozzle housing and set it aside. Now we're going to remove the dome screen on the inside of the end cap. You can do this by grabbing a small flat headed screwdriver and just kind of using it to pry the screen away from the side of the end cap and then use your needle nose pliers, just pull out the old screen and this can be thrown away. Next we're going to be taking off this o-ring right here. You can also use your small little flat head screwdriver just to pop that off real quick. That can also be thrown away. We'll just set that uh, end cap side for right now and now we'll remove all the internal parts to the nozzle housing. We'll be taking out the top insert, you can throw that away. You can take out the rotor, that can also be thrown. Then there's a little rubber boot down in here that sometimes is a little tricky to get out, but if you need to, just use your screwdriver to pop it up and out, that can also be thrown. Then there is also the seat retainer. This works great if you have a Phillips screwdriver just so that you can push on the nozzle inlet and then that will pop out and that can be thrown away. Now that our nozzle is all taken apart, we can start reassembling. First we'll grab our nozzle housing and our seat retainer. When putting the seat retainer in, there's a little o-ring on here. That side should go down and then there's a rounded side with a shiny spot on it which that side has to go up. So you can just drop it in there Hop it around until you get it in place, and then just push it in with your finger. Then next we can grab our new rubber boot and slide that down in. Then we can grab our top insert, which uh, you'll notice that there's a little lip on one side of it. The little lip has to go upwards when you put it in. Then we'll grab our new rotor, drop that in, nozzle side down. Then we can set down the housing and then we can grab our end cap. We can put our new o-ring on the end cap. And then we can also take our new inlet screen and you can just use a little uh, needle nose pliers to push that down in. Then we're ready to put the end cap back on the nozzle. But before we do that I just want to point something out. You can see here there's a little metal point. We call that our Geppetto. The common misperception is that this little metal point has to go on the end of the rotor in order to work properly. This is not the case. When putting your nozzle back together, make sure to hold the housing at a slight angle when you thread on the end cap so that does not happen. Then we can grab our channel locks again here and our adjustable wrench and tighten down the end cap. and you should be good to go. If you do have any further questions about how to install an Aqua Rocket repair kit, feel free to give us a call at 952-808-1000.
3640 or you can find us on our website at www.hydroflexinc.com. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.